So, uh, could you tell me a wee bit about yourself growing up? Was it normal childhood? No? I was normal, normal growing up. I was happy childhood. Aye. So it was. What about school and that? I uh, left school when I was 16. So I went to Penabern Primary School and then I went on to St Peter's High School. And what was that like? Uh, it was good. I, it was good. Uh, always lack of concentration just. Mm. So it was. I came away with five GCSEs at the top as well. Now what were they in? Uh, maths, leisure and tourism and uh, IT. Do you like that? I don't like school but uh, Whenever I started, when I was about 15, I started getting on the drum scene and I sort of fell away the way safe. Uh, when did you first start taking the drugs? The drugs started when I was 15, so I did. How, how, how did you get into that? How, was your friends trying it? Going to the nightclubs, I started going to the nightclubs at 15 and uh, I just bought them on the street. Outside the nightclubs? Inside the nightclubs as well. And the people like um, dealers that you knew? There was dealers I knew, yeah. Okay. Uh, definitely. They were, hey. they were everywhere in the town. John. And did you just approach him outside the town? Outside I just approached him, I, and there were, it was no bar getting up. Since I started taking drugs, it's been no bar getting up. So they're very easy to get? They are very easy, lad. I'm just trying to find out, you know, I never took drugs, it was all alcohol with me. And how much would you pay? Well, ecstasy tablets back then was uh, two pound. And cocaine only came on the scene now when I was about 18, 19. And that's 70 pound for a gram and a half. How much what would that, how long would that be? I wouldn't even do half an hour. And how do you take that? You snort it. Where? Anywhere. Could be in the toilets. Could be at people's houses. Could be on the street. Anywhere. You just get your hands somewhere to take it. What size is that? You know, like what's the actual physical? Is it a come in a wee pouch? It comes like a wee small step bag. And it's, there's not that much on it to be honest with you. Would that do you and your friends or just yourself? I was just doing myself. Now, what, how does it make you feel? How did it make you feel? It gives you a buzz, it gives you an energy buzz, it gives you the excited buzz, the tingly feeling. I remember whenever before I went to school, or after I went to school even, when I started taking drugs, um, the excitement of even taking it, or getting out that night, I, was, I actually literally vomited. So that. With excitement? Excitement, yeah. Thinking about getting it? Yeah. You take it before school? No, it was after school, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, straight after school? No, it was after school, after I left school. After you left school, sorry. And uh, so you go up to, you can get it anywhere in the town? Yep, anywhere. See, people don't know that, you see, because I don't know that. No, if, you don't, if you're not under, if you don't know, there's, you think it doesn't exist? Yep. But if, it does. How much does coke? How much would, how much would that wee bag of cocaine cost now? Sixty pound. Tell me again where you can buy it. And just, it's just on the streets. And then there's people who uh, deal. Do you know what I mean? It's literally on the streets. You just get it. And how do your family feel? Or like my family's destroyed. Them. My drug taken. Drug dealing. We drug taken. Drug taken? Yeah. So they are, they're dis disgusted. And they're not, not, not disgusted in a way of disgust like, but they're, they're just devastated because they can't stop taking them. Are you still taking them? Not at the moment, no. Yeah. And what was the longest you were off it? Nine months. And how was them nine months? Brilliant. I passed my driving test, passed the theory test, done a skydive for charity and things. They were brilliant nine months. Mm. Your family worry about you? They definitely do. Definitely. They um I had a an episode there two weeks two, three weeks ago. They ended up in intensive care. Due to a drug overdose and a diabetic coma. When was that? Three weeks ago. And how long were you in that for? 
I was in hospital for six days and then I was in Greenswood Hospital for another four days. What led up to that? How much drugs? I was taking drugs, I was uh, on the party scene. Um, I've been partying for three days, but then the combine of it all, it just got too much and I took an overdose. I led on the dread diabetic coma. Um, I was three weeks school today, up I bought it. I was uh, on the streets. Um, I went to a normal dealer that I would go to. And it was ecstasy, cocaine, and methadone. Um, I didn't know that I was going to go on that binge, but it ended up that way. Um, things happen. Um, I don't really know what led up to the overdose itself. But it, it was because I was taking drugs for three days solid, without, without no sleep, and then the calm down of it all. I just couldn't handle the calm down of it all. Um, I started being sick, started vomiting on the Sunday, and a friend of mine had to put me to the bed in the house I was in. Um, and after that, I can't remember nothing. Um, I went under a conscious state. Um, and the next thing I woke up, I was in a, just out of resuscitation in Elton McGillan Hospital. And there was no responding from me at all. My parents were over there. Um, in general, it was, it was a scary experience. But at the time, I didn't regret it at the time for a simple reason that I'd done it because I couldn't handle life anymore. Um, because the drugs were getting the better of me. And I was in hospital for a period of five days and I was constantly being sick. My diabetes was sky high. My blood sugars was um, 10 times the limit. Um, I was just generally really, really sick because of drug taking and the fact of being able to buy them so easily. I would have knew Andrew Cookley um, very well and I've been in the same situation as Andrew been on, but I've never actually followed through it. I've been on the fire bridge, I've been talked down from the fire bridge, but I really hadn't got the nerve to actually follow through it. I tried to hang myself a couple of times as well, but hadn't got the nerve to even do that either. The only thing I've done is overdosing uh, intentionally. Um, drugs has played a big part in my life. Um, they've wrecked my family. They've wrecked Andrew's family. Um, so, Ed. Tell me about what your thoughts are about the, uh, the campaign to get a detox centre to Derry. Would, would that have helped you? Definitely would have helped me. Um, the detox centre is badly needed in this town. Um, because there's rehab centres in this town and they're not...